have a question for you. Because, see, I've been called one of them Hebrew roots people because I've asked questions about the Hebrew Bible. And I've been getting attacked quite a bit, you know, by people saying, you know, I'm one of them Hebrew roots people, you know. And uh, if you looked at the last video where I talked about Christians and slavery, and, and that's not the final video on Christians and slavery. That's just a preface for everything else that's going to come behind it on that particular issue. I just wanted to show you how the Bible was manipulated and changed to make it fit agendas for certain people. So, you know, but I'm not here to talk about that today because this is going to be real quick. But a lot of Christian folks have problems with the Hebrew roots of the Bible. I've seen, I've come across a lot of forums. I've come across a lot of articles. I've come across a lot of websites. All Hebrews are dead. All Hebrews are dead. All Hebrews are dead. You know, the Hebrews ain't dead. They just got scattered in the transatlantic slave trade. But these same Christians that have problem with the Hebrew roots of the Bible, these same Christians that have issues with Catholicism, have no problem with the Roman roots of the Bible that they've been learning from for years from their so-called protesting pastors who supposedly protested the Catholic Church. See, I have a question for you. Which version of the Bible is right? Which version of the Bible should we be studying? Because I told you in a prior video what the Bible said about changing the teachings from the Hebrew teachers. And that's exactly what we got with Christianity. They changed the teaching from Hebrew to Roman. They changed it from the uh, Israel got replaced by the church. But the Bible never says that. The Bible never said Israel got replaced by the church. The Bible never said change the Bible from the, the teaching of the Bible from Hebrew to Roman or European, or Gentile, or other nations. The Bible never said that. So, there's no book in the Bible with the name Myron. There's no book in the Bible with any of your name on it. Because they, all them English names in the Bible are wrong too. You know, I've told you about that in previous videos, about the name changes. So, what does the Bible say about the Roman roots? Uh, on what has been taught because it's amazing how the bible can foretell so many things long before we were all born just like in luke 21 24 when the messiah said there's going to be another uh, slave trade come coming around that's going to last 400 years which was a transatlantic slave trade see for years we've been taught from pulpits that the slave trade in exodus which mean exited that exited the slave trade is the same one talked about in Deuteronomy 28. No, it's not. And because if that was the case, Deuteronomy would have came before Exodus in the Bible. And so the Bible was able to foretell so many things. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 3 and 4, this is what it says. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the desires of the Gentiles, having walked in indecencies, lust, drunkenness, orgies, and wild parties, and abominable idolatries, in which they are surprised that you do not run with them in the same flood of loose behavior. Blaspheming. See, the Bible said we've been learning under the desires of Gentiles, under the desires and Gentiles mean other nations. So is the Bible wrong or right? Is the Bible wrong or right? If the Bible is right and the Bible is Hebrew, then what are your pastors and seminaries teaching? 